There's two ways to size or scale designs. Let me kind of point out both options here. First off, one of the ones is to scale. Scale is going to be where you can adjust the size up or down a little bit, <clears throat> but it does not change the stitch count. The stitch count is right here, and that's gonna be kept the same. If you do the unlock, we could say make this or spread it out and actually make it unproportional. Notice it's getting skinnier, but not taller. So that's what the lock means. So you can have it go proportioned or not proportioned. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. But really what you wanna use, when you wanna enlarge or reduce the size of the design, use the resize option. That's this little flower over here that's kinda of got a small, medium, and large. When you touch that, you're gonna to come to a new screen, and you can go ahead and size that. You can touch and drag it, but look, when we change the stitch count, okay, it's got 4,300 stitches when we started. Now, once we touch okay, you're gonna see it'll take and regenerate, and that will come up with a little heart as it's working through, taking all those stitches and making more of them, actually. If you make the design smaller, it will reduce stitches. So the density stays the same. So this little extra time that it takes, look, now we have 25,000 stitches. So you wanna use the resize option when you're really taking a design up or down a great amount. If you do it with the, the scaling, that only does a certain point and it stops, and then it also just spreads out the stitches. So you might get some little gaps in between there. So now we have a design much larger than we started and you're ready to sew.